boss goes over the edge. I owe you nothing. I haven't made no mistakes with nobody's money. That's because you won't give it to him. Next, Joe. All rise for Judge Joe Brown. Whoa. Experience, knowledge, and a passion for the truth. I'm protecting womanhood and promoting manhood. Bringing no-nonsense justice to Americans everywhere. If you listen, you may learn something. It's time for Judge Joe. A woman has to fight for one week of pay after three months of work. Plaintiff Fallon Gilbert is suing her former employer for a week's worth of wages. Defendant Aaron McKenzie says he's already paid more than was due. Now it's Joe time. Ms. Gilbert, you are uh, suing your former employer, Mr. McKenzie, who you allege has failed to pay you your last week's wages before your, I take it, part-time and temporary job uh, expired. Now, Mr. McKenzie, uh, you're doing business as Caring Angels Home Health Service. You allege that you had been paying her more than you agreed to pay her, so she should not be aggrieved. Now, uh, did you make any inquiry as to your compensation for the last week of employment? Yes, I did. Uh, um, what was the result of that initial inquiry? Well, he would not return or receive any of my phone calls. Um, the check that I was supposed to receive would have been January 30th. By February 26th, I still had not received my check. On February 15th, I Did went, you go to pick that up on the date indicated? I called. Well, yes. I, no, I didn't go that day. I called, and I was told that my check would not be there. I went up there on February 15th. But that was the day it was supposed to have been ready? Yes. Right. When I went on February 15th, I was told that he was in a meeting, and I told them, okay, I'll wait. He sent um, one of the other employees there, and they, told, they were talking to me, um, basically saying that he, they hadn't gotten their checks yet and that he wasn't going to come out to the front to talk to me. So now, let's, let's, your case is pretty straightforward in terms of what you present and in the way you presented in your sworn complaint. Now, it looks like you say you were advised uh, that you would get a call from the human relations department of the business. And yes, that's what he told the police when he called the police on me today. I went up there to, to ask about check. my check. All right. So yes. take it you went to see about collecting your paycheck. The police were called, and he advised them that the business's human relations department would call you. But... To your knowledge, information, and belief, there is no human relations department with this particular business. Correct. He is the human resource department. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you say you only work for him three days a week for three months. Yes. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but, you know, you need what you earned, and let's say you're 26 and have one son. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. You married? No. Single parent, head of household, and you need the money. Yes. I feel that if I did the work that he asked, then I should be accountable. I should be able to get my check. Just like okay. he would want his check. If he, you know, when he works, he gets his check. I should be able to get mine. Now, you give me a, a, an hour log of the hours worked and your pace dubs uh, from your compensation. Yes. And I have you them as part of your sworn accounting. Let's go to the defendant. What do you have to say, sir? Well, Your Honor, <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. It's evident that she can't add. And Your Honor, I must say, she did do her job. However, you know, this company did not receive any federal money as of yet. It was being funded from my pocket and my partner's pocket. Well, so what you're saying is, is I'm sorry I was uh, counting on no, getting some subsidy is, from a government wrong, agency. Your Honor. That's what I'm saying. She has her figures wrong. I Your Honor, I have her paycheck stubs, too. I went over yours. I have her paycheck stubs, and as you can see, I raised her amount, and she was not notified over the phone of a layoff. She came into the office, of which I took one day from her, and I raised her up to, up to 1150 from 950 that No, I didn't. Incorrect. I'm not saying that, oh, because I raised your money, I don't owe you anything. Prove to me I owe you some money. I owe you nothing. I don't owe you anything. I find it and fascinating. And that's why when the cops came to the office... Since we're going this way, may I ask you why, when you had the choice 
why did you send us a picture of yourself <laughs> with a red, what is this, a bowler bowl. hat perched on your head, two sizes too small? Uh -oh. I didn't send that. <laughs> How do we manage to get this if you didn't send it? Or did you forget about this when we ask everyone to please send us a current photo? From my office party. But I didn't send that. She must have sent that. I looked at a log, and I looked at the rate of pay, and I looked at what's supposed to be owed. It looks like there's one week shy in terms of well, last week pay. Well, I somebody's going to have to show me because I have not messed up nobody's hours. No one's hours. Mm. Ooh, and I know okay. I went to school and went to school for a long time, darling. How long did you go to school? You need to go back. That's not my problem. How long did you go to school? Long I'm enough, curious. Yeah, How long? Did you, what's long enough? Long enough to secure the employment. That I've I have. got a doctorate degree. How long did you go to school? I also have a doctorate degree. In uh, what? Nursing practices. At, at 25, 25 years old? At Where? 25. Oh, okay. Homeschooled. What was your grades, thesis? My thesis was on neonatal care. Neonatal care. Where did you go to school? University of Phoenix Online. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> I know how to count. I've been counting and I've been doing it well. Well, you messed up. I, I didn't like... mess up on anything. Because if you, you look at the days away. that you worked and what you turned into me, you well, would have it. Wait, wait, wait. If you were did, old, I, something, well, you would have I, it. I feel and you would have had it. Hold on. That would imply that it's impossible for me to make a mistake therefore if it's impossible for you to make a mistake I've never made a mistake in life so I take it that every single grade that you have acquired during the course of your academic career has been an A yes I never said I never make a mistake well, in my life get straight but A's, I have not made any made mistakes an with her payroll I know that much <laughs> I haven't made no mistakes with, her, with nobody's money that's because you don't give it to him. <laughs> we'll be right back with Judge Jill Brown. Social, social unemployment denied her. That's because you didn't play the insurance. Girl, don't talk to me. Talk to him. You need to talk oh, to him. I don't care. The defendant in this case says the plaintiff has made an accounting error. He strikes a pose to make the point that he is more than qualified to make the calculations necessary to correctly pay his former employee. Let's get back to the case. You know what NLRB is? National Labor Relations Board. Mm -hmm. You could go to them she uh, can about go to a them wage and hour like violation. She went before and they denied her. You could go so to so uh, unemployment the denied Illinois her. State Because you didn't play the insurance. Girl, don't talk to me. Talk to him. You need to talk well, to him. I don't care. Uh, when I counted it up, I get the same thing she gets. So my opinion is that or the shall we be formal the opinion of the arbitrator is that the plaintiff in this cause has carried her burden of proof Thank you. and by the way your state has a penalty for willful failure to pay wages which doubles them so you get six hundred and twenty two dollars instead of the three hundred and eleven that you proved and your cost now, you. that's only the minimum civil okay. penalty on that Thank there we go Mr. Boss goes over the edge. I owe you nothing. I haven't made no mistakes with nobody's money. That's because you don't give it to him. That's Joe. All rise for Judge Joe Brown. Whoa. Experience, knowledge, and a passion for the truth. I'm protecting womanhood and promoting manhood. Bringing no-nonsense justice to Americans everywhere. If you listen, you may learn something. It's time for Judge Joe. A woman has to fight for one week of pay after three months of work. Plaintiff Fallon Gilbert is suing her former employer for a week's worth of wages. Defendant Aaron McKenzie says he's already paid more than was due. Now it's Joe time. Ms. Gilbert, you are uh, suing your former employer, Mr. McKenzie, who you allege has failed to pay you your last week's wages before your, I take it, part-time and temporary job uh, expired. Now, Mr. McKenzie, uh, you're doing business as Caring Angels Home Health Service. You allege that you had been paying her more than you agreed to pay her, so she should not be aggrieved. Now, uh, did you make any inquiries to your compensation for the last week of employment? 
Yes, I did. Uh, um, what was the result of that initial inquiry? Well, he would not return or receive any of my phone calls. Um, the check that I was supposed to receive would have been January 30th. By February 26th, I still had not received my check. On February 15th, I did went... Did you go to pick that up on the date indicated? I called, well, yes, I, no, I didn't go that day. I called and I was told that my check would not be there. I went up there on February 15th. But that was the day it was supposed to have been ready? Yes. All right. When I went on February 15th, I was told that he was in a meeting. And I told them, okay, I'll wait. He sent um, one of the other employees there, and they, told, they were talking to me, um, basically saying that he, they hadn't gotten their checks yet and that he wasn't going to come out to the front to talk to me. So now, let's, let's, your case is pretty straightforward in terms of what you present and in the way you presented in your sworn complaint. Now, it looks like you say you were advised uh, that you would get a call from the Human Relations Department of the business. And yes, that's what he told the police when he called the police on me today. I went up there to, to ask about check. my check. All right. So yes. take it you went to see about collecting your paycheck. The police were called, and he advised them that the business's Human Relations Department would call you. But... To your knowledge, information and belief, there is no human relations department with this particular business. Correct. He is the human resource department. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you say you only work for him three days a week for three months. Yes. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but, you know, you need what you earned. And let's see, you're 26 and have one son. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. You married? No. Single parent? 